So you have completed the development of your Shopify app and now are under the process of reviewing it by, via the Shopify app review team so that it gets published on the Shopify app store so that any merchant across the world can install your application and take the benefits that you have to offer. So in this video, I will share with you some of the tips that I have got from my side that can help you expedite the process of app review and can prevent you from going back and forth uh, with the app review team. So the first step that I have for you is installing an SSL certificate on your server. Shopify app review team will absolutely reject your application if your URL start with HTTP instead of HTTPS. So make sure to have a 256-bit SSL encryption on your website so it's, it's secure and it can um, assure the merchant that your website is secure and won't get hacked so easily. The second tip that I would share with you is configure a web server in a way that it doesn't show all the information related to an exception when it does throw one. Example screenshot right here for Laravel. So Shopify app review team recommends that you turn off all sorts of uh, application logs so that the merchant doesn't see any error exception in detail. So if, if you're using Laravel, so you can turn off the debug bar in the env file by finding the debug bar enable flag and setting it to false and app debug again to false so it will turn off the details uh, of every exception and you can log those exceptions in your backend anyway so you can uh, investigate them later so the third tip that i would share with you is making sure that your application handles installation and reinstallation flows what i mean by that is when some store merchant installs your app then it gets associated to their store as well as your database and when they delete the application from their store it gets deleted from their store but it does not get wiped out from your database just yet so there is a record in your database that has an outdated access token so what the what the app review team will do at this point is install the app again on your store to see if it breaks and at that point you have to make sure that you will check the access tokens validity before you decide what to do Either, either it's in opening the app or either it's reinstalling the app. So make sure that your app handles that. Um, I will put an example snippet right here so you can get an, a reference of how I did it uh, when I covered it on my channel. So the fourth tip that I would share with you is taking away all the extensive set of features and functionalities away from your website when you are under the app review process. The reason I say that is because app review team has to verify every single little thing that is on your website and if you keep things on your website that is irrelevant uh, to the store merchant, then it will only add time to their testing. So, the, which is why hide them away when you are under the app review process. And when it does get approved, you can enable them back as you don't have to go through an app review process again. And your app review process will be quicker that way. The next step is about the application scopes which the app review team will absolutely make sure that you are only requesting the scopes that is relevant to your application. So let's say that your app doesn't have anything to do with fulfillments and yet you are asking it during the installation process. You will be uh, noticed and you will be told to take away that access scope because it doesn't apply in the use case that you are building. So make sure to go through the Shopify API scopes page and only take the, only take the permissions that is relevant to your use case. So the next tip is about Shopify webhooks and the app review team will test it um, at some stage during the testing. So make sure that you don't have failing webhooks in your system because if your uh, webhook endpoints uh, start giving errors like 500 internal server error or 419 page expired, then these will show up on your partner's account and a higher percentage of failing webhooks is obviously not good. So you will receive an email from the app review team saying that you should fix your webhooks uh, functionality. So I will post a uh, example snippet right here so you can use it um, in case you are stuck with it. The next tip that I have for you is having an onboarding process which the app review team recommends that you have one. So when a merchant installs your app, they may feel lost on the app that you have uh, built and not understand what they are supposed to do on uh, the landing page that they are on. So if you have a self-triggering uh, guide or an onboarding process, then it will help the merchants understand your app a little better and they will be up and running in no time. So Shopify app review team recommends that you have an onboarding process and this tip uh, will help you with your app review, uh, I hope. So these are some tips I had uh, for the time being. I know it's been quite a while, I haven't uploaded a video. So I wanted to quickly uh, make one 
and help you guys with your app review process if you are stuck with uh, getting your app published on the app store make sure to comment down below i'll be happy to help you out and uh, don't worry about this background you will uh, get some more explanations pretty soon and uh, yeah that's about it see you